Hi. So today, let us understand what is arithmetic progression. Now, consider these two sequences. Okay, the first sequence that is 2, 5, 8, 11 and so on. Can you guess what is the next number? You can follow the sequence and you can guess that the next number should be 14, right? Let's look at the second sequence. 3, 6, 12, 24. What should be the next number? Yes, it should be 48. So you can follow the sequence and identify the rule the sequence is based on and you can then identify which is the next number. Okay. Now, if the first sequence we are adding 3 to each preceding term and we are getting the next term. Whereas in the second sequence, we are doubling the number. We are multiplying it by 2 and we are getting the sequence. So a sequence in which we add a particular term to the previous term to get a sequence that is called as an AP or an arithmetic progression. Okay. So what is arithmetic progression? It is a sequence in which each term is obtained by adding a specific term to the preceding term that is called as an AP. In simple terms, if the difference between any two consecutive terms is same, the sequence is set to be an AP. Okay, you can see the difference between all the consecutive terms here is 3 and hence the sequence is called as an arithmetic progression. Now, let us look at one more arithmetic progression here. Here we have 5, 7, 9, 11 and so on, right? You can see the difference between any two consecutive terms is same. The difference is 2, right? So that difference is indicated by an alphabet small d, which is also called as common difference. So the difference between any two consecutive terms is called as the common difference of the AP and that is indicated by d. The first term that is 5 is indicated by an alphabet A. Okay. And the other terms are indicated by A2, A3, A4, A5 and so on. Okay. In some other boards it can be represented by T1, T2, T3, T4 and so on. Okay. So don't get confused between the terms. So in this sequence the value of A is 5, the value of D is 2 and you can see all of the terms. The value of A2 is 7, the value of A3 is 9 and so on. Right. Now, just by looking at the sequence, can you identify which will be the next term? Yes, the next term will be 13, right? Okay, so the fourth term or the fifth term will be 13. But what if I ask you what is the 10th term? Or what if I ask you what is the 50th term of the sequence? Now that will be a huge concern, right? You have to keep on adding to how many times? 50 times. And that will take a long time. So for that, we have a simple equation in arithmetic progression. That is a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. By using this equation, we can identify any number of the sequence. Okay. Now, let us look at this equation n a n indicates the number of terms okay n indicates the number of terms we have to find the 50th term so the value of n should be substituted as 50 so a 50 will be equal to a that is 5 plus n minus 1 that is 50 minus 1 that comes to 49 and into d d the common difference is 2 right and finally after calculating this i'll get my 50th term okay so you don't need to keep on adding 250 times and get the sequence or get the term you have to just use this formula substitute the value of n as 50 and all of the known values of a and d and you should get what are the 50 at home okay now the same example what if i ask you what is the sum of the first two terms here that is 5 and 7 what is the sum of 5 and 7 the sum is 12 right what if i ask you the sum of first 20 terms again that's a very tedious job right I keep on adding these terms find out 20 terms then add them it will take a lot of time okay 20 terms is also okay if i ask you some of 50 terms that will even take more time so for that also we have a formula that is called as sum of n terms or sn okay so sn is equal to n by 2 bracket 2a plus n minus 1 into d 
okay so this is the formula by which we can find out the sum of any number of terms again n indicates the number of terms this time i have to find the sum of 20 terms so the value of n is 20 value of a and d is already known in the question all we have to do is substitute all the values and finally i'll get s 20 okay so basically these are the only important aspects of an arithmetic progression in the coming sessions we'll be studying about more word problems about the arithmetic progression as well thank you let's take a quick example to understand arithmetic progression better so in this question there's a house of cards you can see the top layer of the house requires three cards the second layer from the top requires six cards the third layer requires nine and so on we have to find how many cards are required in the 11th row from the top of this house and also we have to find out the total number of cards required to build a house of 11 rows so in this question the number of cards in particular row is 3, 6, 9. So the sequence is 3, 6, 9 and so on. You can see the sequence is an AP. So the first term is 3 and the common difference is also 3. We have to find A11 that is number of cards in the 11th row and S11 that is the total number of cards for all 11 rows. So the formula for AN that is A plus N minus 1 into D all we have to do is to substitute the values of a as 3 n as 11 and d as 3 and we will get the number of cards in the 11th row is 33 exactly in the same way if you have to find the total number of cards required it means we have to find s n so here we have total number of cards required for 11 for all 11 rows so s 11 will be equal to 11 by 2 2 into a which is 3 plus 11 minus 1 into 3 and solving this will get the total number of card required to build a house of 11 layers that is 143 cards